I've got Tika out and she's getting ready to head home so I want to put a little bit on tape and I've kind of waited till the last minute to do this unfortunately um, the weather hasn't been cooperative um, but I think that you know we had that few we had one extra day um, which kind of helped a little bit, but on all honesty, um, you know, she was really solid yesterday when I trained her. So I think, you know, um, we just need to do adjust a little bit on timing and that's fine. Not a problem. Um, but she is doing really well. She's, um, you know, learned those basics. Uh, she's willing to do everything. Sometimes you do have to make her do it. It doesn't become automatic. The jumping is kind of one of those things where it's just not automatic. She has gotten away with jumping for a very long time. So I think that you know, as far as that goes, she likes to be a exuberant dog and she likes to come in and see you and she wiggles and she pushes up against you. Um, so I think those habits are not going to go away easily. There's something that you're really going to kind of have to follow up on and kind of work with on. Um, but as far as the commands go of giving them no, off, sit, um, you know, get back, get off, those things. We've worked on all of that consistently, and she does do it. She has to have a little bit of motivating here and there, you know, and we'll go over all of that and how to get those behaviors that you're needing when you pick her up. But so far, so good. Hey, Miss Teak, you want to go work? Okay. Okay, is the release command. Okay, she can get off that bed. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Do a little bit of walking first. Wake her up. Hey, are you awake? Come here. No, ma'am. Tika, try that again. Come on. You do better than that. Come on. Hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. What's up? Are you asleep still? Too early in the morning? Good. That's better. Stay. When we tell a dog to stay, we accept him to stay in that position until we ask him to move. You can get out to the end of the leash and give a little tug, and she will tug back. And she'll sit and stay for up to a minute, you know. Um, it's not there's something you can leave her for a long period of time, but a minute's a pretty good time frame right now. Hey, quit. Most important thing to remember about stay is to go all the way back so they get that release command. So you're going to walk all the way back to her side. No. Just like that. I knew her attention was kind of lacking with the traffic and everything. She tends to like to watch that. But she can work through it. Come here. Hey. Sit. Stay. No. Tika. Hey, okay, good girl, I know, huh, hmm, sit, oh, ouch, not on my foot, all right, let's go, oh, I almost got you, gotta hurry up, get around those corners, sit, was your sitter broken, come on, let's go, Huh. Got to be paying attention, huh? Hurry, hurry. No. Leave it. Don't want them sniffing or, or paying attention to the ground. If they get to that point, tell them to leave it and keep going. Good. Stay. Talking and motion are another thing that we work on. About 90 degrees both directions. No. Stay. And if she misses it, she does get a correction for no. That's very important. No. Are you challenging me this morning, huh? I like that when I say no, she is stopping. However, I don't like that she's moving at all. Again, all the way back to her side. Good, that was better. Little tap dancing. Okay, but not bad. All right. Come 
on, Tink. Go for it. Nope, nope, leave it. Come on, hurry, 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 hurry. Let's go for a run. I'm very good at it. Back. Good. Slow. No. Come on, you got to keep going. Sorry, that wasn't a sit. Missed a miscued that. Sorry, sweetheart. Keep going. There you go. Good girl. Okay. Let's try that again. We're going to try a little bit different. <laughs> that was a funny you t about turn. Good. All right, let's go. Good. Easy. Nope, keep going. Oh, okay. And that's probably because some of the easy stuff I've done with the walker instead of with just me alone. So that may be why some of that's a little confusing. Tika, down. Down has been a little bit of a struggle all the way. Once she gets there, stay. She's pretty solid, she'll stay. Sometimes she goes down on her own, sometimes I still have to help her. Tika, leave it. The biggest thing is she likes to jump up as soon as you get back. So I always remind her that she's on a stay here so she can't get up until she's released. Tika. Stay. Good girl. Okay. That was awesome. Yes, it was. Good girl. All right. Sit. Okay. Want to play? Get it. Tika, come. Hurry. Good girl. I do a couple straight first. Get it. Tika, come. Nope. Oops, because that's why I like to do them first straight. Because she has to come straight back. Get it. Tika, come. Hurry. Right there. Good. So I'm just going to give her a couple of little corrections to remind her where come is. Come is right here. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, I know. Ready, 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 ready. Get it. Hurry. Ah. Oh. Then she kind of stops playing. She gets a little bit of her feelings hurt when she... There you go. Good girl. Come. Sit. Get it. There you go. Tika, come. Right here. Uh-uh. Right here. Good. Sit. Ready? Get it. Oops, you lost it. Good. Tika, come. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I know. You're trying to figure out the hot dog thing. Good. There's come. Right there. Good girl. It took her a while to kind of figure this game out. She didn't mind when Elise was dropped. Come. And especially inside, she wouldn't play it a lot. I don't know what it was. She didn't want to pick up treats off the floor inside, which is not a bad thing. Get it? Good girl. Come. Sit. Good. But I wanted her to play this game so she could get ramped up and come back in and sit and not A, bolt past me because that's a, that's a um, recipe for disaster when you call a dog. And B, that you had a big jumping problem with her. So she needed to learn. Tika, come. Hurry, hurry. Yeah, good girl that she had to sit right here. So I've done a lot of praise, a lot of talking to her from right here. She tap dances, but I'm not getting the jump. And that's just because I've done no off, no off every time she's tried to jump on me. All right. The pet call was something that she really wasn't a fan of. I don't know if she doesn't like beds at home, but she wasn't a big fan of it out here. We had to work on it, place. Now she gets right on it and lays down. Go figure. Tika. Hey. Okay. I didn't even tell you to down. That was good. Place. Hurry, place. And see, she won't just run over and jump on it, which I would like for her to do, but that's just not in her vocabulary. But once she gets on it, she's very comfortable on it. She lays down. All right, so the last part we worked on with a little bit with her was being calm around maybe somebody that's a little slower with a, with a walker. So we've done a little bit with that kind of to help you out um, with your mom a little bit. All right. Come here, Miss Tika. Come on. Good. Sorry, I should have said, okay, that was my bad. Come right here. Good. Sit. Good. I've taught her that this bar, or this boundary, so if she gets in too close, I tell her back, and I just can back her up. 
I'm going to turn, so we're going to go for a walk. Want to go for a walk? I just wrap up the leash a little bit. Let's go. Good. And then I do a little bit of bouncing, where I actually hit the ground with the walker and make sure that if I stumble or I fall, Tika, sit. Good, but if I stop, she should sit. All right, let's go. Hey, get up, come on, up, up. Good, come on, hurry, hurry. No, leave it. Let's go. We've tried to do this at a really slow, slow pace, just so she understands. Tika, sit. Good. And then I did a few get it comes, even with the walker. Ready? Get it, hurry. Tika, come. Good. Good girl. Ready? Get it. Tika, come. Uh-uh. Good. So she learns to come right back here where it's safe for her and your uh, mom's got a little bit of protection if she gets in too close or if she gets a little wild, she can just move into her and Tika will move back. So hopefully that'll help as far as that goes. I think she's done an awesome job, you know. Um, she was kind of wild when she first came in. There was a lot of jumping involving everything. Um, you know, her, her personality is one of those of a loving, kind personality. I don't think she's met a strange dog or person yet at this point. Um, she doesn't have any fear of people or dogs, which is nice. She's got a lot of confidence. But in that confidence brought some of those misbehaviors that we didn't like. And I hope we've got those under control for you a little bit better. So we're going to put her up and give her a bath and see how she does when you get here. Good girl.